The theory of prehistoric cosmic detonation suggests that the universe began from nothing implying the start of the universe before the huge explosion there was nothing no time no space yet consider the possibility that I let you know that time is a deception and that the enormous detonation hypothesis may be off base new discoveries from the James Webb Space Telescope are scrutinizing the precision of this hypothesis the huge explosion probably won't check the beginning of the universe all things considered and there's a plausibility that time is only in deception astoundingly this thought finds support for from regarded english physicist roger penrose you may be inquisitive about how the james webb space telescope upholds time being a deception in addition if the enormous bang hypothesis isn't precise what other speculations have been proposed to depict how the universe started and created we should dig in to figure out the idea that our universe began extending once again 13.8 a long time back in a thick state called the theory of how things came to be has experienced obstructions particularly with ongoing pictures from the james webb space telescope while these pictures are enamoring to the layman they have caused worry among cosmologists and stargazers the unexpected felt by master comes from the way that these pictures go against the theory of how things came to be long maintained is valid by numerous researchers so the new information has caused a huge disturbance in established researchers space experts like allison kirkpatrick from the college of kansas are grieved by this improvement addressing the legitimacy of their past work the issue lies in the qualities of the worlds portrayed in the jwst pictures these worlds show up minuscule smooth and shockingly old as indicated by the theory of the universe's origin as space grows systems and different articles ought to show up bigger as they get away from us due to the extending of light anyway the jwst pictures show that the systems become more modest as the distance increments which goes against the hypothesis even cosmic systems with more prominent mass and brilliance than our own smooth way seem a few times more modest in the JWST pictures contrasted with past perceptions by the Hubble Space Telescope also the red movements saw in these universes are likewise a few times more prominent further testing the presumptions of a growing universe in the huge explosion. Hypothesis these realities propose that far off worlds should be extraordinarily minuscule to represent this optical deception which is improbable the presence of these little and smooth universes sabotages the idea of development accordingly projecting uncertainty on the theory of the universe's origin allies of the theory of prehistoric cosmic detonation knew that their presumptions required the presence of these little and thick systems frequently alluded to as powerful mouse cosmic systems in light of past perceptions from the Hubble Space Telescope anyway the JWST pictures have demolish what is going on by disproving the possibility that these minuscule worlds could develop into bigger systems through crashes or extension the JWS pictures show all around framed winding designs and smooth plates like the cosmic systems we notice today this goes against the assumption for damaged also twisted cosmic systems coming about because of crashes without huge consolidations the minuscule cosmic systems can't become 100 times bigger demonstrating that they were not at first little this finding challenges the optical deception anticipated by the growing universe hypothesis proposing that there is no development and subsequently no huge explosion the age and overflow of universes in the jwst pictures likewise present issues for the theory of the universe's origin by utilizing infrared channels the jwst can catch the tones of far off cosmic systems permitting cosmologists to assess the age of the stars inside them as per the hypothesis these 
distant universes ought to address a period. Around 400 to 500 million years later, the enormous detonation anyway a portion of these systems show heavenly populaces that are more than a billion years of age, going against the presumption that nothing might have existed before the huge explosion additionally scholars anticipated. That as the JWST looked further into space and farther back in time there would be less systems and ultimately no dim age anyway the pictures uncover. Systems as extensive as the smooth way even. Only a couple hundred million years later, the guest huge explosion besides the number of systems saw at red. Shifts over 10 is something like 100,000. Times more prominent than anticipated by. Scholars, it is doubtful for so many. Enormous universes to shape in such a short. Period testing the theory of prehistoric cosmic detonation. Yet again these discoveries have prompted the scrutinizing of the idea of time. Itself a few researchers contend that time is just a human develop and approach to separate between the present and our impression of the past they propose. That time is a deception made by. That's what human recollections proposing. All that has at any point occurred or will at any point happen is happening. At the same time this point of view challenges that time should move rigorously in a forward-bearing sum. Adherents of the large crunch hypothesis even propose that when the universe stops growing and starts contracting time may switch prompting an inversion of the cooling and development saw in the enormous detonation in the long run the universe would break down back to where it started the ramifications of what comes after a major crunch stay unsure with different hypotheses proposed some guess that the universe might go through a new begin with one more huge explosion while others recommend the universe may essentially stop to exist specific thoughts propose a repetitive nature with the interaction rehashing on different occasions making various universes this continuous discussion about the Heading of time has provoked researchers to scrutinize its essential nature some contend for a block universe, idea where reality are interconnected in what is known as space-time as per a hypothesis, upheld by Albert Einstein's hypothesis of relativity existence are important for a four-layered structure where each occasion has its situation in space-time this infers that everything including the the past and future exists together in space-time making them similarly huge close by the present. Physicist Max Tark from the Massachusetts Organization of Innovation addresses this idea he recommends that reality can be portrayed as one or the other a three-dimensional space where situation develop over the long run or a four-layered space where nothing changes assuming the last option is genuine then it infers that everything as of now exists out of the blue, enveloping the previous present and future. Anyway, we have a deception that the past has happened and what's in store is yet to come driving us to see change. Julian Stylist, an English physicist who has expounded broadly on time, offers his point of view on this matter he depicts our encounters as a progression of nows and calls attention to that we are as it were. Mindful of our cerebrum express our discernment of the past emerges from our mind. Putting away memory hairdresser alludes to the space-time hypothesis where each point in this applied country which he calls Plutonia addresses a now he recommends that what we accept is the past is just a deception made by our cerebrums. This conversation takes us back to Albert. Einstein's hypothesis of space-time which has caused some disarray in the field of material science researchers are currently thinking about what might occur in the event that Einstein's hypothesis were demonstrated mistaken would disposing of. The hypothesis of space-time assist us with acquiring a better comprehension of the universe. This would be a huge turn of events over the entire course of time logical. Insurgencies have been urgent for progress, disappointment, and questions. 
in the end lead to the rise of new, speculations that supplant the old ones this. Design has happened various times in the fields of space science and physical science. At first humankind believed that Earth was at the focal point of the planetary group A, conviction that endured for over a thousand years anyway Nicholas Copernicus proposed an alternate hypothesis recommending that it would be less difficult to consider Earth as simply one more planet circling, the Sun notwithstanding beginning obstruction this heliocentric model acquired help with the appearance of telescopes Isaac Newton, likewise added to our comprehension by making sense of that the gravitational power of the Sun makes planets circle it, as indicated by Newton objects with mass, apply gravitational fascination on each, other which makes sense of Earth's orbit around the Sun and the Moon's circle, around the Earth-Newton's hypothesis, ruled logical idea for almost 300 years until Albert Einstein presented his overall hypothesis of relativity in 1915 this new hypothesis effectively represented irregularities in the circle of Mercury, furthermore was broadly affirmed during a sun-based obscure perception in 1919 off. The Bank of Africa as opposed to Newton's thought of gravity as a draw Einstein imagined gravity as a result of the shape of room he suggested that all articles in the universe exist inside a four-layered texture known as space-time and gigantic articles like the sun bended this texture FAC causing planets to follow the ebb and flow in their circles to spectators this curve appears as a Newtonian gravitational pull Einstein's hypothesis of space-time has ruled for north of hundred years eclipsing contending speculations the revelation of gravitational waves in 2015 further solidified its importance anyway like its ancestors it might, before long face difficulties as it conflicts with. One more conspicuous hypothesis in physical science. Quantum hypothesis the quantum world is known for its idiosyncrasies where particles can exist in different spots. At the same time during the 193's Irwin, Schrodinger broadly delineated the weird nature of quantum superposition with his Schrodinger's feline idea. Explore it included a fixed box containing a vial of toxin associated with a mallet set off by a quantum estimation as per quantum physical science. Until the estimation is made the molecule exists in a superposition of the two states prompting the dumbfounding situation where the feline is at the same time alive and dead anyway this image of Quantum superposition can't be accommodated with the constant and smooth texture of spacetime even Sabine. Hassenfelder, a hypothetical physicist at the Frankfurt Organization for Cutting Edge, studies recognizes this contention, as indicated by Einstein's hypothesis of spacetime a gravitational field can't be in two spots, all the while it's affected by issue. What's more, energy and is dependent upon ebb and flow. Anyway, quantum physical science recommends that matter and energy can exist in different states at the same time resisting conventional ideas of region. This brings up the issue where does the gravitational field dwell? Hassenfelder concedes that there's no acceptable reply to this question featuring the current test in accommodating general. Relativity with quantum hypothesis when endeavors are made to blend these two hypotheses numerical irregularities emerge estimations some of the time yield probabilities extraordinary than one or even vastness which have no significant actual translations consequently the two hypotheses are numerically incongruent physicists much the same as authentic rulers looking for coalitions are currently looking for a brought together hypothesis of quantum gravity this try intends to accommodate the two opponent speculations and lay out amicability between them string hypothesis is quite possibly of the most well-known proposition in this journey frequently thought about an amazing chance 
String hypothesis suggests that small, vibrating strings make up subatomic. Particles like electrons and idiosyncrasies just, as various notes can be delivered by, culling strings on an instrument. String scholars contend that unique, blends of strings make different. Particles this hypothesis is engaging, since it can possibly accommodate general relativity with quantum material science from a certain perspective. Anyway, for this hypothesis to work, the strings should vibrate across 11 aspects, which is seven more aspects than the four aspects in Einstein's space-time texture at present. There is no trial proof to support the presence of these extra aspects while it is a captivating numerical idea we can't be certain assuming it precisely depicts the space-time in which we live without leading trials as per Joanna Lookett at the College of Nottingham in light of the apparent inadequacies of string hypothesis physicists have gone to an elective methodology called circle quantum gravity LQG with LQG. G, the two speculations can be accommodated by testing one of the essential standards of general relativity which sets that space-time is a persistent. Smooth texture, rather, LQG recommends that space-time comprises of interlaced circles, giving construction at the littlest. Scale this can be compared to a length of material that seems smooth from the beginning. Look, however, uncovers an organization of lines. After looking into it further than again, it's like a photo on a PC screen that comprises of individual pixels when zoomed in any way. The test with LQG is that when physicists allude to something being little, they mean it's unimaginably microscopic. These imperfections in space-time would just be discernible at the board scale, which is roughly a trillionth of a trillionth of a trillionth of a meter the quantity of circles in a cubic centimeter of room would outperform the quantity of cubic centim in the whole detectable universe as indicated by look at if space-time varieties are restricted to the board scale it would be trying to test this hypothesis utilizing any molecule gas pedal it would require a molecule gas pedal around 1,000 trillion, times more remarkable than the enormous Hedron Collider LHC at CERN which would, should be essentially as extensive as our smooth way. Cosmic system anyway a group of physicists from the UK, France and Hong Kong may soon have an elective strategy to test this. Thought they expect to use a ultra cold gas containing billions of cesium molecules existing in a state known as a Bose-Einstein condensate to examine whether gravity displays quantum properties. Meanwhile, the universe itself offers one more scene to look for little space-time absconds light that contacts us from far-off pieces of the universe has gone through billions of light-long periods of space-time, albeit the impact of each space-time deformity would be unimportant connections with numerous Deformities could amass and possibly yield noticeable impacts over such tremendous distances stargazers have been breaking down light from far-off gamma blasts over the course of the last ten years to look for proof supporting LQG these inestimable 